Hey, what's up you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Marvel Spider-Man 2 video and today what I got for you guys here is going to be my wish list, my top five alternate suits that need to be in the game specifically for Peter Parker. Now before we get into everything, I wanted to ask you guys of course if at any point you enjoy the video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support and I would really appreciate it. So if you enjoy the video at any point, leaving a like rating would be awesome. Also, if you're new here and you want to keep up to date on all things Marvel Spider-Man 2, then I got you covered. I'll be making videos on all the news and updates for the game, reacting to upcoming trailers and gameplay that we'll get at some point between now and the game's release in 2023, and more fun topic videos like this one. If that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be immediately notified when a video goes live. And with all that being said, let's get into my top five so all the same with my top five suits that i wanted to be in the wolverine game i did want to start off with some honorable mentions these are suits that didn't quite crack my top five but are suits that i would love to see in the game and to start things off I'm choosing the new Stark City suit from Marvel's Future Revolution, which is a mobile game that just recently launched. And listen, I haven't had the opportunity to play this mobile game. I don't know what it's like, but from everything that I've heard about Marvel Future Revolution, it sounds incredibly ambitious for a game that's only available on mobile platforms. The armored look for Spider-Man can be a bit of a hit or miss, but this one's a massive hit. I'm a big fan of this design. It's original, it's unique, and it would totally work well in Marvel Spider-Man 2 especially considering that Yuri Lowenthal voices Spider-Man in this mobile game. And of course he is the voice of Spider-Man in the Insomniac games. Next up on my list is something from the Identity Crisis storyline. And I know these are kind of the least favored Spider-Man storylines and as well just the least favored alternate suits for Spider-Man, but I feel like we gotta pay homage to one of these looks in some way in the game. I mean, if we're going to appreciate the history of Spider-Man, you still gotta appreciate even the efforts that missed the mark. You gotta look at everything, the good and the bad from Spider-Man. And the Identity Crisis storyline, while is not great, has some really crazy wacky stuff in there that I think could work in Marvel Spider-Man 2. Then of course as well on my honorable mentions list I have the classic symbiote suit and I know you're already typing your comment this is going to be everyone's number one most requested suit and I think there's almost a guaranteed chance we're going to see it in the game. I think Insomniac's going to do their own take of the symbiote suit so we'll see that and it'll be kind of a version of the advanced suit but with the symbiote but as well of course we're going to get the classic symbiote suit. There's no way that won't happen which is why it's on my honorable mentions i want to talk about five suits that i'm not sure will be in the game that i want to be in the game and the classic black suit i mean come on we know it'll be in there but don't take my word for it listen to what the creative director of spider-man ps4 and now marvel spider-man 2 brian intahar has to say i like that shirt <laughs> like that. why is this suit in the game why is this suit in the game uh, i think that something like that suit um deserves its its day in the spotlight. And I think just making it a unlockable suit um, wouldn't be doing it justice. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a, it's one of the best stories for Spider-Man. Sure. And I think that um, it's a complex story. I think that um, that story needs to be told and needs to be told in the way that Insomniac would tell it. Then last up on my honorable mentions, I have, of course, the amazing Spider-Man 2 Andrew Garfield suit. I know a lot of people love this look and it has become one of the more highly requested suits to be added into the game. And for a time, I really didn't think that this would end up happening. But since then, we've got now all the MCU looks, aside from, of course, the new ones that he has in Spider-Man No Way Home. We got the Raimi suit and we got Andrew Garfield's suit from The Amazing Spider-Man 1. One. With rumors of Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire making a return in Spider-Man No Way Home, nothing is off the table, so I would absolutely love to see this suit in the game, considering how many people are requesting it. It just doesn't quite crack my top five, but with that being said, let's jump in now. At number five, I have the superior suit. Let's just call a spade a spade. Peter Parker has the Iron Spider legs now, officially a part of his arsenal in Marvel Spider-Man 2. I think given how massive of a role Otto Octavius played in the first game we can clearly tell that some inspiration was taken there and he wanted to use the tech that Doc Ock used in the game for his villainous efforts but now as a force for good and having the extra arms it would be perfect to introduce the superior suit I don't want the storyline some people do me personally I'm not about that I don't think that we should go down that road I think it's okay for us to have completed that arc with Doc Ock and Peter Parker 
in the first game and let it die there. But if you want to take anything from that first game, it could be bringing in the superior suit into this one now that Peter has the extra legs. But now at number four, I have the classic Ben Riley suit, and I think this is such a fantastic design. I'm actually really surprised that Insomniac didn't end up adding this suit into the first game, but I guess you can only have room for one Ben Riley suit per game, and that's why they went with the Scarlet Spider look instead. I think this suit would look great in Marvel Spider-Man 2 though. That massive spider logo sprawling across his chest and as well the oversized web shooters like with what we saw from the Scarlet Spider suit could translate really well. I think this could be a suit that a lot of people would enjoy seeing in Marvel Spider-Man 2. At number three, I have the Poison Spider-Man suit. Now this comes from a fairly recent run in the comic books, the Venomverse specifically, in which the black suited Spider-Man gets the symbiote infected by this poison and well, what you're seeing on screen is what comes of that this is an awesome suit and if insomniac is introducing the symbiote and we're presumably going to be getting the black suited spider-man i hope this is one of the variations of the symbiote suit that they plan on adding into the game it could be an animated suit you know having the spider symbol extending off of his body with the symbiote tendrils flailing and almost that true to form arachnid looking face that shell the white shell that he has looking almost armored this could be one of the coolest suits in the game if they add it my runner-up at number two of my top five most wanted suits in Marvel Spider-Man 2 is the spectacular Spider-Man look and I want it to be cell shaded. This is your chance Insomniac. This is your opportunity to immortalize one of the greatest pieces of Spider-Man media ever created. I mean, we can tell clearly that with the vintage suit, with the manga suit, and as well the animated suit in Spider-Man Miles Morales, that Insomniac likes to play around with that cell shaded look. So what better yet than to do that with a one-to-one -one recreation of the design of Spider-Man in the spectacular Spider-Man cartoon in all the PlayStation 5 glory. Sign me up for that. Please, Insomniac, add this into the game. And while we're at it, hashtag save spectacular Spider-Man. Give me a season three, Disney, please. This suit was close to being my number one. I really flip-flopped with what is currently my number one. So if anything, you could consider this my 1B to what is going to be my 1A. Now, what is my 1A though? What is the number one suit that I want to have in this game well we all know what the most highly requested suit was in spider-man ps4 and considering the fact that we can assume we're going to be getting the symbiote in this game i think you all know where i'm going with this the number one suit that i want for marvel spider-man 2 is the symbiote the black suit version of the raimi suit from spider-man 3. there's no shying away from the fact that that raimi suit was the most highly requested suit in the game i'll never forget waking up early in the morning for i believe the silver lining dlc and seeing that it was added into the game for free i thought it was a joke i was checking to make sure that it was real and lo and behold it was and again if we're going to presume that peter is going to get the symbiote in this game and we're going to have different variations of symbiote suits as alternate costumes to choose from what better yet to take the most highly requested suit from spider-man ps4 and do the black suit version of it that we saw in spider-man 3. let's also not shy away from the fact that this is an incredible design it looks so cool having the legs caved in to give you just that little idea that the symbiote is in control was such a nice touch and who can forget the jaw dropping scene from spider-man 3 when the suit was first revealed that score is incredible where am i The Raimi films mean so much to so many people, and I think Insomniac would be remiss if they were to not include this suit in the game. That is, again, all assuming that we are going to have the symbiote be put onto Peter Parker within the events of Marvel Spider-Man 2. If that doesn't happen, then I guess all this stuff is off the table, but given the clip that I played for you earlier from Brian Intihar, I'd say there's a really good chance that that's going to happen. And again, this is just my list. This is just my top five. The best part about these topic videos is that you guys get to go down in the comments section below and give me your top five. You don't have to agree with my opinion. You don't have to think the same things as me. You can have your own opinion and I want you to, so you can sound off in the comments section below. Let me know what five suits you want to have in Marvel Spider-Man 2 the most. You can include honorable mentions. You can make it a top 10 suit wishlist if you'd like to just sound off in the comments below and of course if you enjoyed today's video 
if you could consider leaving a like rating on it it would show your support and i would really appreciate it i'm caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you can also follow me on instagram and twitter those links are going to be in the description drop a like if you enjoyed leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new see you guys later